Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the podcast. Um, this is about gender and borderlands um, and kind of why it matters. So I wanted to talk about why it matters to me and I think it's because the term borderlands tends to be a little bit heavy. It's a really distinct word um, and if you break it down, um, the borderland is technically, you know, you have Canada, Mexico if you live in the U.S., we're going to be talking about Mexico and the effects of the word for Hispanic people, you know, in certain ways, it could affect their identity, their self-worth, and even safety, depending on what situation they're put in. Um, I have three articles. The first article that I wanted us to touch on was The Homelands by... Anna Zaldua and um, she really talked about the fact that um, the borders are there to diminish the Mexican people. Um, you can kind of see this when she talks about the fact that they set up borders to um, define what places are safe and which places aren't safe. So you can see that in the US perspective, they build up their border, their wall um, to say that we are safe they're not safe. Um, if Mexico put up their wall, they would be like, oh, we're safe. The U.S. isn't safe. So I feel like that has a big, heavy um, um, effect on their self-worth in terms of them being a third world country, like third world country. Um, it's just like, they're not bad people. I feel like there's that stigma around them. Also in the article, it talks about how the fact that people used to live in um, Texas. Oh, well, it was Mexico. And it was a Mexican territory inside of Texas that there was a war and the U.S. got that territory. So during that time, U.S. Military, military people would send, um, would send those people back to Mexico. Um, either, you know, they would send them back. They would ship them back, but sometimes they would lynch them. They would shoot them, just ripping them up from places that they thought were home and sending them back unsafely. Like, they don't have any family there. They were living in that territory, in the Mexican territory, now U.S. So it's like, you're sending them to be essentially nowhere. They have no money. Duh. Like, what's going on? And um, I just feel like the reason why this would contribute mostly to the argument and um, of gender and borderlands is because the fact that they're losing their identity and it's not safe for them when they're getting picked up and rehomed. Um, most women, most women, like let's say in terms of when people travel back and forth across the border, usually you hear the term a coyote, which is a, a man taking people over to the U.S., um, in this case, women, it said in the, in the story, women would be raped, they would be sold. And you have to think that all they're wanting to do is get sanctuary. They want to be safe and they're not. They're being put in those situations to go with men that they do not know and um, trying to find safety elsewhere. Like they're trying to keep on living um, because Mexico is not enough for them. Um, so in terms of it, I just think it, it kind of puts that stigma against the borderlands and the term border meaning wall, and it makes them unsafe, even though I feel like, you know, as the U S they're like, Oh, we're safer. Cause we have the wall. And it's like, no, you're, you're not thinking about the people that need to come here and they need protection and we're not even supplying that for them. Um, another article that, or well, another piece of material that I really liked was the Mariquipoles, Mar 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 sorry, the, it's the city of factories, the city of businesses. And um, this, is, this was in Tijuana. And the main argument of the movie was the fact that these women are being mistreated not only by Mexico, but by the United States. And in, in summary, um, the United States worked with Mexico to build factories and 
along the border. Um, it was cheaper that way, it was cheap labor, and you can kind of really just see the fact that these women are fighting for their self-worth. They're trying to advocate for themselves because the Mexicans, Mex like the Mexican government doesn't think that they're worth more than $12 that they're getting paid. And you can see the also um, the Mexican politics say, you know, we're going to try to help you. We're going to we care about you and then they don't even look at them when it comes after the the political race and leaving their town like filthy these women they have houses out of garage doors from the u.s they don't have water they have crappy plumbing and unsafe living conditions and so much pollution like what is going on it's it's crazy and i just think like this adds to the fact of borderlands because of that that self-worth aspect of like that stigma that you are um, Hispanic, that's your identity. And in I feel like in the US sides, it's like, no, you, you're a third world country because that border defines you. And because they set that border, they defined it. I just think like in this, in the movie, it just shows like the fact that even though these women are being, you know, mistreated, they're not getting anything from their government. They're still pushing, still trying to find that self-worth inside of them. And um, I don't know, they're killing it. Like I'm really proud. I really like the way that they like shine the light on the, the American companies. Like that's so crazy to me. Um, but anyways, another article that I found interesting was the Chicano, masculinity article by leans um we talked about borderland borderland masculinity and i just i liked it in terms of the fact that they were arguing that identity no matter where you are should be it's always a part of you and it's going to stay with you and that could be good or bad we read articles that you can kind of see the the lasting effects of that idea carrying with you but I think like in terms of the topic that we're talking about gender and borderlands, it, it brings that masculine, um, the, the male gender to the topic, to the table. And it's a little bit more uplifting in terms of like, you, you can see the struggles of the men and um, it's empowering to be yourself in your own identity. And I just, I tended to like that a little bit more due to the fact that it was a, a happier topic and not super bad but that was just my ideas of gender and borderlands i just think you know your identity and your self-worth and your safety is really important and the term borderland um has a really heavy imp like implication on those things to certain people and it resonates a lot with mexicans but yeah hope you guys have a good day and a good weekend goodbye